Kitty Ziza. They should be here any second. Now. Olivia! Huh? Oh, Esme, you're late. Sorry. I was just adding the finishing touches to our midnight feast. You mean you were eating our midnight feast? A good chef always tastes what they cook, Olivia. <sighs> well, where are the others? Ah! <sighs> Sorry I'm late, Olivia. My jetpack broke down and I had to wait for Cloudside assistance. You know how it is. Since when did you have a jetpack? Oh, I just whipped it up this morning! Still needs a bit of work. Well, at least you're here now. That just leaves Isabella. She's not very good at travelling by herself. I hope she's all right. Huh? 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 Come on, Isabella. You can do this. Three, two, one. Oh, for you. Um, what? These are brand new shoes. Right, now we're all here, the sleepover can finally commence. Yay! All right! Item number one on the agenda, pillow fight. OK, but first, let's lay down the ground rules. No? <laughs> Game on, princesses. This palace ain't big enough for the four of us. Right. Item number two. Midnight feast. Wow, you really didn't eat all the midnight feast, Esme. Oh no, this pal was at least twice the size before I had my... snack. Well, I can't wait to dig in. Hungry, I guess. <gasps> right. Item number three. Ghost story. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, hum. <laughs> Sorry. Right, Isabella. You go first. Me? Um, okay. Um, this is the story of the um. Muffin. Muffin? Muffin. A uh, monster. Yes, that's right. The Muffin Monster. Once upon a time there was a Muffin Monster. And it ate everyone. The end. Well, that wasn't very good. <sighs> Let's just go to bed. Muffin Monster, eh? Hmm. This gives me an idea. Midnight Beasts. Oh, spoil sports. <laughs> um, are either of you actually going to make a move? Oh, Esme, dear Esme, chess isn't about making moves. I'm pretty sure it is. Olivia's right. It's about the space between the moves. I once saw Mr Snuggles playing chess. He didn't make a single move the entire game. One within 15 minutes. It's all about focus. If you really focus on each piece, become one with the chessboard. Breathe in the aroma of... Slime? Ugh, 
Olivia, I told you I didn't want to play slime chess. That wasn't me. Guys, it's not about the slime. It's about the space between the slime. <laughs> oh, ha ha, Esme. Where did this slime come from? Uh, I think I have an idea. Malice, of course it was you. Huh? You pelted us with slime. Me? I wish. I've been trying to perfect my slime cannon for weeks. Can't get it to work. Hmm. Oh! See? Oh, are you playing chess? A word of advice. Don't play against Mr Snuggles. That bear really knows his way around a chessboard. Or rather the spaces... Oh, enough about chess already. We've got to find out where this slime is coming from. Hmm, where's Liliana? You're right. I haven't seen her all day. Boo! The name's Liliana. Princess Liliana. Liliana, you completely ruined our game of chess. Oh, chess is boring. Thank you. I've got a much better game. As long as it doesn't involve a slime gun. It doesn't. It involves four slime guns. The rules of the game are simple. Get hit and you're out. Last princess standing wins. Awesome! That does actually sound pretty fun. I just have one question. I don't want to play. Three, two, one, go! Uh, let's just get this over with. Right, if you want to catch a princess, you have to think like a princess. Even I am a princess. I just have to think like myself. On second thoughts, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Uh-oh. Hee-hee. <laughs> One down. Uh, tastes quite nice, actually. I bet Liliana thinks she's got this in the bag. Well, I'll show her. Speak of the devil. Reach for the sky, Liliana. Very good, Liliana. Very good. Fool me once, shame on me. But fool me twice, aha! Blast! Very good again, Liliana. Fool me twice, shame on me. Aha! Again! OK, no more. I'm not falling for it again. Wise choice, Olivia. Thanks, cutouts. Wait! Rats. Ew. Stupid. Muddy. Forest. Right, time for a sit down, I think. Hmm. Aha! This should do the trick. <laughs> this is far too easy. Just Isabella to catch now. <clears throat> I think you're forgetting someone. Malice, you're playing now, are you? I sure am. And guess what I just finished? Whoa! Prepare, dear Liliana, to feel the wrath of... My Slime Cannon Ultra Mega Super Great Awesome Mega Ultra 3000! Good name. Oh, quiet. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Better luck next time, Malice. Uh-oh. Time to finish this game off once and for... I guess that makes me the winner. Anyone for a game of chess? Four giant chocolate eggs filled with... Oh, you'll never guess what they were filled with. Chocolate. We ate chocolate. Oh, those princesses are just so happy with themselves. Well, I have a plan to make sure this so-called picnic is a complete washout. <laughs> and at another point, I actually did turn it into a chocolate egg. Oh, <laughs> it was so funny. There, 
finished! Now, let's see what you can do. Yes! Come on! Oh, well, that's not right. Hmm, I wonder if... Huh? Hmm. Oh dear. Right, let's try that again. That should do it. Why? I am absolutely certain that the correct number of dinners is actually two, maybe even three. It just makes perfect sense in every way. You have one dinner to warm up with, a second dinner for mates, and then a third dinner for dessert. Hang on, is it me or did it just get a little chilly? Right. Time to fix this useless machine once and for all. <sighs> this is the life. You said it, Olivia. Who would have thought you could sunbathe in the middle of a storm, eh, Malice? <laughs> Cheers, princesses! Cheers! So all I'm saying is, I ran a marathon in my dream last night and this morning I'm feeling exhausted! It doesn't work like that, Esme. Oh no, malice. Weird. Yeah, what's up with Malice? Oh, I was talking about that dog riding a hot air balloon. But yeah, Malice didn't seem herself. Normally she'd at least manage an insult. Prince Sissy, goody no shoes. Esme, what are you looking at? Sorry, just remembering Malice's insults. Hey guys, what's up with Malice? Hey Liliana, we were just wondering the same thing. Yeah. I thought she was going to knock my ice cream out my hand, but it's still here. She's being so unmalicey. Normally, she'd never miss an opportunity to prank us, but recently, it's like she doesn't care. I noticed that too. Seriously, guys, what are you looking at? Nothing. It just helps when you're remembering things. Scientifically proven. Try it. There's definitely something wrong with Malice. Amazing! Maybe I'll finally be able to do, well, anything without her ruining it. We can't just ignore it if something's wrong with her. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Someone should go speak to her to find out what's wrong. Great idea. Not me, though. Yeah, me neither. Well, I'm definitely not doing it. So, what's wrong then, Malice? Right, now what's wrong is that you're in my tower. Come on, Malice, what's up? You're not being yourself. I know. I've retired. Retired? Why? Because I suck at being evil, Esme. That's why. 
<laughs> Malice, you're not bad at being evil. You're brilliant at it. I'm not. You are. Look at all the evil stuff in this room. See? A witch's broomstick. Only a truly evil witch could fly one of these bad boys. I use that to sweep up. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. A cauldron. There's even something terrible brewing in there now. What's this then? A potion to give whomever drinks it feathers or dooms them to eternally smell like a foot. That's my dinner. Ah, then I take it back. You are bad at being evil. See, now get out. I'm going to do whatever it is people do once they've retired. Knit or play golf or do some gardening. Gardening, eh? I hear the palace is looking for a new gardener. I'll put in a good word for you. OK, so Malice should be here any moment. We all know the plan, right? Yes, she thinks she's coming round to do some gardening. Then we're going to loudly laugh about how bad she's at being evil. But you never told us what happens next. Yeah, Esme. No time for that. Here she comes. Just follow my lead. <laughs> yeah, Malice is so bad at being evil. Would you believe she's got a broomstick, but she can't ride it? Ha! What kind of witch can't ride a broomstick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I heard she still sleeps with a teddy. I suck at being evil, eh? Well, how's this for evil? Malice is back, princessy! Well, at least she's feeling herself again. She's got better at magic as well. <laughs> Actually, her spell missed. But the fountain. That was me. I put my foot on the hose so it exploded with a giant rush of chocolate when I let go. So what happened to Malice's spell then? I have no idea. No way! Eaten by the demon surprise again? Ugh! Mr Snuggles, who put this here? This isn't funny anymore, whoever keeps doing this. Tell me again why we're going for a nighttime walk in the woods. Because it's fun? It's not, it's scary! Ah! See? Oh, it's just Mr Snuggles, Olivia. Well, I'm sorry, but even teddy bears falling from the sky is scary. Where did he come from? Malice. Looks like she's just gone to sleep. Come on. What do you mean, come on? Malice is asleep. Have you ever been in her tower? No, and I've never planned to. Oh, well, I'm not going. I'm just going to stay here, alone. In the woods. The scary, dark woods. Esme, wait up! Ooh. Esme, what have you done? This place is a tip. It was already like this, and shh! What a mess! This place is disgusting. This is weird. Our school yearbook, our class as well. Hmm, I remember that girl. Alice, Alice something. Why would Malice have circled Alice in our yearbook? I don't know, unless... <gasps> Malice is Alice! Hey, when did we learn to communicate telepathically? We didn't. So we're just talking out loud in silly voices. Oh, let's hope we didn't wait. Malice? We should run. Quickly, before she knows our plan. You do realise you guys are speaking out loud, right? We did it again! Run! So you're saying Malice used to be our classmate Alice and then she turned evil? Yes! But what turned her evil? Maybe it was something we did. Can I have a go? I don't know, Alice. It's Mr Snuggles' turn next. Two seconds, Esme. I'm coming up. Oh, I wouldn't. This branch might not take the weight of the three of us. The three of us? Yeah. Me and Mr Snuggles are already up here. You 
two princesses. So that means we can talk to each other whenever we want. Mr Snuggles, Mr Snuggles, do you copy? Repeat, this is Olivia to Snuggles. OK, maybe I wasn't that kind either. It's all our fault. We didn't share our things with Alice and that turned her evil. She became malice because of us. Oh no, what are we going to do? Princesses, it's simple. We'll go round there and apologise. didn't turn evil because we didn't share our things with her. She turned evil because we didn't share Mr Snuggles with her. <laughs> you think I turned evil because of you, princesses, and some stupid teddy bear? Exactly. Ha! I turned evil because my whole family was evil. It's in my blood. But you were cuddling Mr Snuggles. An experiment to see what it felt like. Oh, and it felt awful. Anyway, you princesses are trespassing on evil property. Do I need to use my teddy cannon again? Mm, yeah, yeah I, I think it's time. Yeah, I Lots to do. I'm sorry, Mr Snuggles. Let's keep this between us, yeah? <laughs> Isabella, it's okay. You're not going to get splashed by the fountain, you know. You can never be too careful, Olivia. Chocolate stains, you know. Honestly, I've sunbathed here a million times and I've never been splashed by the chocolate fountain. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> You were saying... What did that? Ah! It's gone into the forest. What was that thing? I have no idea, but I know someone who will. Oh, do we have to? If there's some weird forest creature coming into the palace gardens, Isabella, I want to know what it is. Now, come on. Oh, fine. But if I get mucky, I'm sending you the dry cleaning bill. Come on, Isabella. Ew, so gross. Esme! Ah, oh, Esme! It wasn't me, what, huh? Oh, hey guys, what brings you here? We need your help. How much do you know about the animals of the forest? Oh, I think I can help. Did it look like this? What is that? Zoos and stink bats. They're pretty cool. Ugh. I don't think it was one of them. It wasn't flying, it was bouncing. Hmm. A fladonk? Hmm. Then was it... Will it the sloth? No. Guys? There's nothing else it could be? Guys? Not that I know of. Guys! <gasps> That's it! Quick, grab it! Oh, come on, let's get after it. What are those for? You'll see. Right, the thing went this way. has to be round here somewhere. 
Okay, let's split up and find it. One dead already, princesses. Just my shadow. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, time for a break, I think. <gasps> Hello, you. You cute little thing. <laughs> you like raspberries. You find anything? <laughs> no. You? Nothing. Have you seen Isabella? <laughs> Isabella! <gasps> That's it! Esme, you scared it off! Quickly, princesses, after it! A break, at last. Where did it go? Hey, is that a door in the rock? Quick, let's see if we can get it open. Uh, 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 All right. Where are we? <gasps> Who's that? Malice? Where? Wait, Liliana? Oh, <laughs> hey princesses, welcome to my new lab. Oh, there you are. I see you've met one of my Fragabits. Fragabits? Those aren't real. They are now, thanks to my Creature Creator 3000. Simply place one animal on one end and another one on the other and boom, you have a completely <gasps> new animal. <sighs> and before you ask, Esme, we can't try it on you. <laughs> It's early days, you see. There are still a few glitches. Liliana, what kind of glitches? Oh, it just makes a few more versions of the creature than you want. A few more? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about them. They'll be fine as long as you close the door on the way in. into a delicious apple pie. Apple pie, you say? Liliana! At your service. Liliana, we really need your help. I tried to use my wand to turn the apple into a pie, but it completely malfunctioned. Puh, you don't need magic to make apple pie. I do. Nonsense. Wait here. I'm going to build you a machine that will make the best apple pie you've ever tasted. Right. Well, Esme, that means it's down to us to get to the bottom of this. Well, it's a pretty big apple, Olivia, but I'll do my best. Not the apple, Esme. We've got to get to the bottom of why my magic isn't working. Right, of course. Whoa, whoa. Oh, come on, Esme, to the palace. There's got to be something in here. Let's see, the origin of chocolate fountains? No. Cheese string theory? No. The Malice Palace paradigm? No. Hang on, Olivia, look at this. What to do if your magic wand stops working? This is perfect. To get your wand's magical powers back, you must pay a visit to Mr. Zuza. Who's Mr. Zuza? The source of all the magic in Kitty Zuza land, apparently. Who lives at the top of Mount Zuza? Mount Zuza? How do we get there? First, you must cross the Great Zuzan Gorge. Oh. That was easy. Next, you must climb to the top of the mighty Zuzan Oak. A 
appreciate the view and then climb back down again. Wait, what? Ooh, that is actually pretty spectacular. Hey, look, there's Liana. Right, one apple pie machine coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Next, simply follow the signs to Mount Zuza. This way. Oh, do we have to? I had a really big lunch. Come on, Esme, it won't take us long. Ugh. <sighs> okay, this better be worth it. Esme, look! Mr. Mr. Zuza! Correct, it is I, Mr. Zuza, the source of all the magic in Kitty Zuza land. Mr. Zuza, thank goodness we found you. I really need your help. My magic wand just stopped working. Say no more, Olivia, say no more. Aren't you going to fix my wand? No, I just wanted you to stop talking. Oh. Goodbye. You mean we came all the way up here for nothing? Hang on. Yes. W wait, what are you doing? G get away from there. Isabella. Wait, this isn't Isabella, it's a robot. Hang on. Liliana. Liliana, how could you? Wait, hang on. This is a robot as well. Right, I think this is the last one. Timothy. This one's definitely not a robot. I think someone's led us on a wild goose chase. Mwahaha! Those princesses are so gullible. Whilst they're away looking for Mr. Zuza, I've got all the time in the world to lay some of my new traps around the stinky old palace. Let's see. Prank number one in the Malice Palace paradigm. What on earth is... Uh-oh. And done. Just need an apple to test it with now. Huh? What's going on here? Ah, Olivia, just in time. One delicious apple pie. You know what? I'm actually not hungry. Speak for yourself. Ah! There. Oh, I can't wait to show the princesses. Princesses, guess what I just invented? Oh, what is it? I just made myself a... Behold my newest invention, the cloning machine! But hey, that's my... Wow, that's so cool! Whoa, awesome! I can't believe it! <gasps> Where did you get the idea, Malice? Well, I just thought one of me is great, so several me's would be really great. So, Malice, why don't you show us how it works? Oh, uh, sure. So you just do this and press that and then... There's laundry to do. Yes, Malice, right away. Wow, Malice, you're a genius. Whoa. I wonder if we could clone chocolate. <laughs> hey, down in front. Alice, how could you? You stole my invention. I didn't do anything of the sort. I've got to find a way to prove that it was my invention. 
Aha! Princesses, I built the cloning machine, not Malice. Sure you did, Liliana. That's why there's a lot of Malice clones and no Liliana clones. I thought you might say that. This will take us back in time, so you can see for yourself that Malice stole it. All right, let's go. Yeah. But why not just stay here and have fun? See, she stole my invention. Another malice? Wow, I didn't even turn it on yet. Malice, I think as punishment you should do my washing up for a week. Ugh, fine. I guess it's not that bad. Liliana, please. No, just... Oh, come on! <sighs> ah! What was that? <sighs> A waste of good afternoon tea, that's what. Never mind that. What was all that shaking? It felt like an earthquake. Ooh. Earthquake? Or a volcano? Volcano? Or... I don't know, actually. Maybe it was something nice. Like, um, someone making a smoothie? <coughs> You're right. That's no smoothie maker. We need an expert's opinion. Isabella to Liliana's. So this shaking, what was it like? Like an earthquake, or a volcano, or a smoothie maker. Hmm, well it couldn't be a volcano. Mount Zuza hasn't erupted in years. And there's not been an earthquake in Kitty Zuza land for decades. No, the only thing capable of making vibrations that large is Esme. Esme? Yes, have you heard that princess snore? Yep, makes sense. Definitely, Definitely Esme. Esme. Huh? Hey, Esme! Hey, guys, bad timing. Been battling the demon surprise egg for about 24 hours straight. Haven't even stopped for food. That's unlike you, Esme. Must be a serious battle. I know, right? Wait, you mean you haven't slept? Nope. Then what was that shaking? I felt that. Came from Malice's tower. She's probably up to something, as per usual. What is that thing? I'm not sure. I've never seen technology like that before. Oh, the satellite? I'm pretty sure that's just so she can get the Zuza Sports TV channel. I'd have it myself, but... You know, signal's pretty bad in the forest. It's all the trees you see. What is it, Liliana? That's no Zuza Sports satellite. Ah! <laughs> Guys, this is bad. What do you mean, Liliana? Don't you see? That satellite is a giant laser. Malice is trying to destroy Kitty Zuzaland, and next time, she might succeed. Well, there's only one thing for it, princesses. Have a cup of tea and hope she changes her mind? Nope. We're going to have to save Kitty Zuzaland. Guys, it's just a Zuza Spot satellite. Okay, princesses, so we all know the plan, right? 
Can we go over it one more time? Absolutely. Step one, sneak into the tower. Step two, grab the controller by any means necessary, thus saving Kitty Zuzaland. That's a lot simpler than I remember. Ready, princesses? Ready! <laughs> Malice, stop right there! Oh. Ah. Uh -oh. Wait, is that a vacuum cleaner? Yeah, -huh. cleans my room without me lifting a finger. <gasps> Jealous? Well, yes, but wait, that's what you've been doing this whole time, trying to get your vacuum cleaner to work. Yeah, what did you think I was doing? But what about that massive satellite on the side of your tower? Oh, that? It's so I can watch Zusa Sports. Knew it! Ha ha! You guys want to stick around and watch a game? <laughs> We're here! The magic wishing well. <gasps> oh, is that it? Quick, pass me the zoos and pennies. This doesn't look very magical. I wish for another Susan Penny. Look, I really don't think that this is... Aha! Uh -huh. See? Olivia, this is the same penny that you throw in. Is it? Hmm. I wish for two Susan Pennies. Why don't you try wishing for something that's not Susan Pennies and see if it works? OK. I wish for a ginormous chocolate cake. See? Hmm, maybe this world doesn't accept Susan Pennies. Maybe it prefers... Twigs! Um, Olivia, I don't think those will do the trick either. Oh, trust me, Ez. Um, <coughs> Liliana, I didn't know you lived in the Magic Wishing Well. This is a brand new secret entrance to my lab. Cool! <laughs> Oops! If you're after the Magic Wishing Well, I'm afraid you're looking in the wrong place. You know where it is? Sure do. Come on down to the lab and I'll show you. Right, who's for some special tea? Special tea? That's right, special tea is my specialty. <laughs> this one is made with helium. Uh, I'm alright, thanks. Well, take some for the road, just in case. Now, the magic wishing well. We are here. And you need to follow this path all the way to the magic wishing well here. But you guys should know, they say that the well lost its magic powers years ago and that nowadays it's pretty much just used by Malice to get rid of her... <sighs> trash. So it should be <gasps> just by this tree. Aha! Uh -huh. Here it is! Right, princesses, the tour of the bottom of the wishing well will be starting shortly. Olivia, what's that noise? <coughs> Wait a second, this isn't a magic wishing well, it's a... Uh... Hey there, princesses. So nice of you to keep watch over my trash for me. In fact, as a thank you, here's a few more bags. Ha ha ha! Right, best be off. I've got some gardening to do.
Ugh, malice. I should have known. And now we're stuck down here with nothing to eat or drink. Well, we do have something to drink. Ugh, I'd rather eat that banana skin than drink Liliana's special tea. Huh? What? Huh? Hang on, that tea is made from helium. Your point being, give it here. A small sip should be enough. Now you have some. Olivia, I don't understand. What's this supposed to... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh, that was fun. Right, come on, Esme. Time to get our own back on Malice. There she is. Quick, pass me the tea. Oh, I wish you'd just hurry up and grow already. <laughs> Your wish is my command. Come on, you miserable plant. Huh? What's going on? Ah! <laughs> you should be more careful what you wish for, Malice. I'll get you. 